We're here with Focus Hope Keep It 100. It's Nikki Bates and Jarrell Harris. Tell us a little bit about what we see behind us here. So what you're seeing right now is what is left after three houses have been demolished. Um, these houses were probably some of the worst in the neighborhood. They were the site of a lot of criminal activity in the past. And so we were really adamant about making sure these houses got demoed so that we could repurpose and reuse this land for something more positive in this neighborhood. Um, so this is the site of what will become rain gardens and community gardens and a really beautiful playscape. Um, so we're really looking at changing the way that people perceive this part of the neighborhood so that it's a place where people want to come and gather as opposed to a place people avoid at all costs. All right, now, Nikki, were you one of the people with the hammer knocking down the house? I was not. That's done by the contractors hired by the city of Detroit. But Focus Hope does a lot of pushing to bring those contractors to this neighborhood. So you're the advocate for the neighborhood to help getting it cleaned up, and that's the Keep It 100. So you have this 100 block, and we're seeing one of the blocks right here, and then you're going to go out and be like, we need this done. Absolutely, yes. That's what Focus Hope does. And then what's right around this other shoulder over here you were talking about, it was very underutilized? Yeah, so right across the street there is a park that is maintained by the city of Detroit. It's a really beautiful park, a great play space, but people don't use it because of what used to be here on this block. They were afraid to come out and bring their children out to play at the park because the houses across from it were blighted and needed to be demolished. So hopefully we'll be able to encourage people to come back out to use the park, to use the new rain garden that'll be here, to use the new playscape and really reclaim ownership of this neighborhood. Feels great. That's one of the best parts about working in the city of Detroit and working at Focus Hope is that you get to see real change happening. There's real you know, Focus Hope is pushing for these things to happen and they're getting done. It's really an amazing feeling. What can the participants expect to see when they arrive? When they get here, they'll see that um, there's been a lot of groundwork that's already been done. Um, so we've done a lot of demolitions, we've done some board ups, we've done some beautification. Um, so they can expect to see that we're ready for them to come. Uh, we're looking for strong arms, strong hands, strong bodies to really help to push us to that next level of transformation in this neighborhood. And then what kind of activities will the participants be uh, engaging in? And they'll be helping with board up, so there are a number of vacant houses that still need to be boarded. They'll be helping with planning community gardens, they'll be helping with doing some landscaping, um, they'll be helping with some of the arts projects. So uh, outside of cleaning up the neighborhood, we want to make it beautiful. We want to make this a place that when you drive through or you ride by, you're like, wow, I'm somewhere. I'm in a really great place. I want to go back to that place again. And so there are a number of different things that they'll be helping with from the beautification to the cleanup to public art projects. So they'll be really busy. He'll be really busy having fun and focusing on hope. Absolutely. Amen to that. We're going to see you in July. We're so excited to have you here. Very excited. Thank you very much for coming to Detroit and for believing in what we do. Yes, thank you very much. Looking forward to seeing you in July.